Hey y'all everybody, welcome back to Gran Turismo 3. Oh uh, yeah, the Peugeot 206. Good old Peugeot 206. Haha, <laughs> now is your time. 318 horsepower, 961 kilograms. Front wheel drive, inline four. Dual overhead cam, no turbo. 206s are super handsome cars. I I've always loved the design of them. You know, it's uh, like it's just a little hatchback, you know what I'm saying? But it's a nice little hatchback. <laughs> Alright, 206. Get this. Ooh, I forgot to get my thumbnail, you guys. <laughs> Alright. The record holder here is still the Nissan Silvia, surprisingly. Elise ZZS. Yeah, we're finally starting to knock cars out as well because we've tested. So the, the records, um, the records only go to 12, right? Like, can't go down anymore, right? So the records only go to 12. So now we're starting to knock cars off the board. <coughs> Shit. Some nice snap crackling and popping. Go to a six go. Whoa, don't over rev in this car. That was Major kickback. Or at least if you're gonna over rev, don't let it go for too long. <laughs> Immediately learned that about this car. <laughs> like, very first thing. Ooh, we're going pretty quick. Ooh, we just capped 161. Let's see if we can cap at a higher speed though. I always let them cap at least three times. That's cat number two, 161.1. Oh, she's heating up. This is just the beginning. This is the end. <laughs> Fourth. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Fourth place. Beat the CRX and the MRS. Both of the Vitsies. Little Vitsy boys. The quarter mile, you guys. Ooh. Now, this car does not accelerate very fast simply because it's front wheel drive. <coughs> uh, throw some, like, friggin' drag radials on there and then it'll be moving. <laughs> the Elise is still king of the quarter mile. Listen to that. Snapping, crackling, and a popping, you guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Go, 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 go. Not bad. That's like fifth or sixth. <clears throat> yep, fifth. Go, 206. There's the cars it's surrounded by. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. Testing all these cars again. Loving it. Wonder if this thing can do uh, lightweight, no? Dragoon Essay? Isn't there like a hot hatch or something like that? No, eh? Well, poo. Uh. Oh, yeah, you know. You know what? Ah, you motherfucker! What do you mean?
Didn't this cart not have a turbo? Okay, I'm not going to pay attention to that thing in the menu that says Turbo NA anymore because uh, it clearly lies. <clears throat> it clearly lies. It clearly lies. Clearly. Very clearly. I mean, when you see the... Very clearly that it's lying. There is a, indeed a stage two. Well, these turbo punks think they got some fast cars. Let's show them what's up. <laughs> With my machine gun pojo. Oh, man, that 3000's taking off. The yeah, coupe moves out of our way. So does the Sylvia. Skyline versus 3000. Skyline almost gets a full uh, ass full of 206. I like this color on this car, man. Like the bronze. Turn. Okay, so it has trouble with turning back. Once you're going one way, it doesn't not like to suddenly be going the other way. A lot of cars don't like that. It's got some pretty pretty good power for uh, <laughs> the front wheel drive. You can really feel it yanking. Woo! Whoa. Whoa, it did not like that. All right, with a little double brake tap, it seems to want to go the other direction. Not too bad. I mean, like, if you're already turning and then you go to turn the other direction, it doesn't really seem to like that very much. Excellent emergency brake response there. It immediately came back. Look at that pole, you guys. It's got some good front-wheel drive yank. Uh, friggin' break your RPM gauge when you hit the gas in this car. Yeah, see it kind of hesitate when you go to turn back? There's a moment where it's like, you know, it just sort of stops what it's doing and goes straight for a little bit. You can fix that by uh, adding some toe to the front. Well, negative toe. you guys. That, that's just from one little whoop on the gas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the over rev in this car is like you can, you really can't let it go too far into that red. It's like barely any. Pretty darn smooth, I gotta say. Really, um, <clears throat> really responsive uh, brakes and uh, transmission. It's got really good initial cornering as well. Whoa. Bounced off the wall there. I don't think it's gonna set uh, an, in an incredible time at midfield, but... Whew. Like, I don't think it's gonna beat the Lotus and the, um, Tommy Kyra, but it'll beat some of the other cars. I'll just have to remember not to over-rev, because it uh, definitely dies off if you over-rev. 
That's right. We're on turbo one. <laughs> Maybe the NA turbo thing doesn't change if you buy a turbo. Whoopsie daisy. Hold on. Yeah, see? NA turbo, NA. It's definitely not <clears throat> naturally aspirated. We've literally just proven that it has the stage 2 turbo. Oh, you can buy NA for it. Yeah, maybe we just won't pay any attention anymore to where it says NA Turbo because, I mean, clearly, very clearly seen. I guess it just doesn't change uh, from when you buy the car because I don't think they come stock with a turbo. I mean, you could always just buy one, right? Alright, guys. The Midfield Hot Lap Challenge. Uh, the reigning champion is the ZZS. After just barely beating out the Lotus 190, man, that's some crazy stuff. And there it is, you guys. Let's do it. We need to beat 122.6 to be on the board. we can make up on the next laps. Come on, 206. Let's set a nice time. Well, its handling is really, really good. <clears throat> it just loses out from acceleration, obviously, simply because it's a front-wheel drive car. 119. Definitely on the board. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What's up? <laughs> What's up, ghost? I'm gonna over red hook. <laughs> Probably just gained like 0 .004 of a, <laughs> of a second, you know? <laughs> You ain't catching me, myself. <laughs> Do you hear me, me? You hear me over there, me? <laughs> You're not catching me, me. Fucking e-brake, huh? More e-brake is needed. All right, Bojo. <laughs> chance. Alright, you guys. I'm gonna get serious on this lap. Come 
on 206. Still the same. Got some more speed than we do. <laughs> I love that sweeper on midfield, man. One of the best turns in Gran Turismo, for sure. Come on. Woo! Now that was a good lap for the 206, you guys. Killing the ghost. Stress it all the way through, baby. Woo! 117. 751, you guys. Oh, look at this monster, you guys. Jesus. <laughs> Front, Front wheel drive donut. Fifth place. Not too bad from the 206, man. I mean, it's a, it's a big ask for this car to beat a Lotus, a fully tuned Lotus 190, fully tuned Tommy Kyra ZZ, you know what I'm saying? That's a big ask, man. It did a lot better than I thought it was going to, to be fair. So look at some of the cars that we've tested so far, you know what I mean? These three cars right here, like, you would not expect a 206 to be beating these three cars. Maybe the MRS? Like, those are pretty relatively close to each other, but I mean, look at the times, though, right? Three seconds uh, of time from the MRS, right? The MRS would smash the 206. <laughs> when you look at it like that, I mean, shit. That, those times right there, I'll tell you which car would win. It'd be an easy race for, uh... <laughs> it'd be a difficult race for the 206, I can tell you that. Well, yeah, man, thank you guys for coming out and watching episode of Grand Turismo 3 featuring the uh, Pojo 206. Do me a favor, you guys, leave a like on the video. Maybe even subscribe to the channel, and I freaking love you, and I wish you the total best. Don't know why I came to the screen once again. <laughs> Let's get a game save. Yeah, man, freaking love you guys. Wish you guys the total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest for you See you in the next one, which is, uh... What is it? It's over. It's over, you guys. Uh, I've got to stop this episode so that I can record the next one. Holy Jesus, the PT Cruiser. We're going to cruise our way to victory, you guys. God damn. Well, I'll see you guys there. Have a good bye. Bye.